full capacity, and the prospectors in town scramble to get their supplies so they can continue the search for their future. As the people went about their busy lives, none of them would know that their beloved town of Tombstone would soon be burned into the history books forever, as the culmination of the battle between the Herbs, the Clantons, and the McClowries would reach a boiling point, and the guns would have the last word. Don't worry about a thing, I just went down and disarmed them. You did? Yeah. Come on, boys. Throw up your heads, boys. I come here to disarm you. No. Hold! That's not what I want! No. 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 Oh my god! No! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Billy! Don't shoot! Oh my god! Come here! Don't ever get away! I got you now, you son of a gun! It's easy if you do! I'll quiet no more. Alright! Where's the rest? I don't think I'll let you arrest this day, BN. This day, on this day they survived Doc Holliday and the Earps, but all their fortunes would change. Eventually Doc Holliday would die of tuberculosis. Morgan would be shot and killed by playing billiards. Virgil would be ambushed, shot in the arm and maimed for life. He would soon take his brother Morgan and their wives to Colton, California for his burial. Wyatt, who was the only one unscathed, eventually took his beloved Sadie, as he called her, to Alaska to seek his fortune. And they were together for the rest of their lives until Wyatt's death in 1929. Although the last of this great men, Wyatt, was the last one to die, their legend would live on forever. Ladies and gentlemen, all dogs and ladies, thank you.